Good morning, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman. I hope y'all are having a blessed day. Um, I'm a little late getting up this morning. Chris has gone to Florida, so I feel like a free bird today. And um, I'm actually going to go out and about and do a little shopping since it's close to Christmas. Um, I am going to read in Psalm 3 today. It is, um, it says, it's called The Lord Helps His Troubled People, okay? And um, this is a psalm about David, of course. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the psalm so you'll understand a little more while I'm reading it. And that is, it says, David's fight from his, his flight. It's kind of funny. I said, I feel like a free bird. And this is about David's flight from his son, Absalom. Um, it says, his flight from his son, Absalom prompted this psalm. And we're going to read the psalm after I tell you about it, okay? And it says, In his turmoil, David expressed confidence in the Lord as a shield about him. Um, the small shield of a leather or metal uh, was carried by a warrior for protection against an enemy's sword or spear. Like this shield, David... No, I'm sorry. Like this shield, God protects us, his people. Paul described the shield of faith as providing our protection against the power of evil. So um, we're going to start out with our shield of faith before we leave the house today and get in his word a little bit. How's that? So this is Psalm 3. The Lord helps his troubled people. We're going to read it uh, out loud. It says, Lord, have they increased who trouble me? Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help from him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. This is a lot like a song we used to sing at church. They must have got a lot of the words out of this psalm. I lay down and slept. I woke for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Salah. So that is a beautiful psalm. Uh, the Lord is our shield and strength in times of trouble. And he does carry us. That's for sure. And um, it's a beautiful psalm. Uh, if you want to take a look at it yourself today, it's just Psalm 3. It's in the Old Testament if you want to read it. And I'm going to end with, uh, there's a outline in here that tells you the way of life. Uh, the choice between life and death. Okay. It says that you need to avoid destructive relationships. And the opposite of that, the way of death, is experiencing instability. And we know that destructive relationships do cause a lot of instability. And I feel sorry for people who live like that because it's like they're on a roller coaster. And some days it's really, really good and some days it can be really, really bad. And um, it's, a, it's a hard way to live. So remember to avoid destructive relationships, delight continually in God's word, and achieve stability and productivity. Um, and we talked about that the last time I talked to y'all about getting in his word and trying to have a plan and time for him. And it will help your day go by better and help you be more productive. Uh, the, dip, the opposite of that is experiencing instability, experiencing defeat and isolation, and experiencing separation from God. And we don't want to be in those categories, okay? So I will uh, end with the, a good note, and that is uh, we started in his word this morning. Even if it is almost lunchtime, we still got it in, and uh, I'm glad of that. Chris has gone to Florida. I really am excited. Not that he's gone, but I mean, now that he's retired, I, it's like I never talk to y'all hardly, you know. And it's so funny because just last night he left yesterday. I was to y'all, 
And um, and so, of course, this morning I wanted to speak to y'all, but I got up and got dressed first. Um, but I had a project. Well, we had a project due today. And May is actually learning how to use the CAD program, too, which is really nice. And um, so it went out today, and it is Victory Baptist Church. Those of you from Cedartown know uh, y'all are getting a new Family Life Center, and it's going to be exciting for y'all. So we've been really busy in the Nichols household between Thanksgiving, getting in our new cookbooks and this project. And so today I'm taking a break and breathing a little. So um, Mama had mentioned to me that she, her mom used to make her a sawdust salad. So I looked up the recipe and I think I may make that uh, soon on uh, CVC. But it was good to see everybody this morning. I see Marilyn is here this morning. She's always up and watching. And Patricia is watching this morning. Thanks, girls, for tuning in. Thank you all for listening to uh, Real Southern Woman and being patient with me with my new schedules. Um, let's go ahead and say a prayer. I hope y'all have a blessed and productive day in the Lord. And you can pull, you can turn back and read that psalm if you'd like. It's a beautiful psalm. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for living here and being free, free to worship as we please and free to make our own choices and decisions um, in this world. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who came and died on that cross and um, died for our sin, Lord. We thank you for that gift. This is the uh, about to be December. I don't think it is yet. And uh, we need to celebrate him every day, his birth and resurrection. Uh, be with us as we go throughout the day. Help us help somebody else. Help us put our minds on other people instead of ourselves. And help us today be used of you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Brenda says her two-year-old grandson loves me. Well, thank you, uh, Zardin. It's good to see you, Mr. Zardin. I would love to uh, be able to hug your neck. So your your uh, granny can hug your neck for me. I don't know what you call her. Most people don't want to be called granny anymore, but I sure would. If, if the Lord lets me live long enough to have some grandkids, I will definitely be a granny, and I cannot wait. For that day. Of course, my girls are too young to be thinking about that now. They're 17 and 18. But um, I'm just blessed to be here. We should all be so thankful to be still here living and uh, being able to be part of our family's lives because so many people uh, go home early and uh, they're not able to see their grandkids. And uh, a lot of us get depressed over things and we need to be thankful for uh, a lot that we have. You know, there's so many things to be thankful for if we just look around us. And think about those things. Y'all have a wonderful day. And um, I hope I get out and find some fun things today. And I hope to cook for y'all. I don't know if, I, if I'm too tired this afternoon. I won't. But maybe by tomorrow I will. I know I'm slowing down a little bit. But um, our plate is full here. And so y'all just be patient. And I hope y'all don't give up on us. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. I love ya. Bye, Z Oh, it's Zayden. I'm sorry. Bye, Zayden. I said your name wrong. It looked like an R on here with the, with the text I have on my phone. You have a good day, Mr. Zardin. Bye, y'all.